Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Off-White Air Jordan 2 Low. A lot of people definitely have their opinions when it comes to this sneaker, and you know I gotta give you guys mine as well. We're gonna talk about styles, cuts, materials, inspirations, hype, price, you name it. Everything will be covered in today's video. And if you did not know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA show. Hey! So the first thing we need to do is crack this box open and see what these shoes even look like. And then we'll talk about the history, inspiration, and then styles, cuts, materials, and all those other fancy things. Starting with the box, you have your OG style Air Jordan 2 box, but with a major twist. They did a clear box all throughout the bottom and side of the box. And then on the lid of the box, it's all white with the holes like you typically get on the recent Off-White Air Jordan releases. Looking at the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 2 Retro Low SP Black Varsity Royal, 250 bucks. Now initial impressions off of the price with this shoe being $250 for a low top retro 2, that's kind of expensive. So let's crack this box open and see if they're really able to live up to that retail price point. You have two separate bags right here. So each shoe comes individually bagged with your classic all over print with the off-white bribes. We have seen this before on other off-white releases. So let's open up one of them and then we'll look at everything else. So pulling up in this right here, you have a white paper with a Jumpman logo on it and it says Air Jordan and then off-white just below that with a circle. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker. I gotta touch the materials because I know there is a lot when it comes to the design inspiration. The leather is actually not that bad. They might, I might be able to understand it. I don't know though, 250 is still kind of high. We're gonna see once we get a little bit deeper into this shoe. So like typical fashion, you know we gotta talk about the history first. So let's go ahead and take it back to 1986. We originally saw the Chicago 2 colorway surface and a couple other colorways to follow that in 1987. Most people think that every Air Jordan was designed by Tinker Hatfield, but that is incorrect. Bruce Kilgore and Peter Moore were the designers of the Air Jordan 2 before Tinker Hatfield came on the scene to design the Air Jordan 3. Back in the late 80s, the Air Jordan 2 released and retailed at a $105. Wow, ain't that crazy? $105 in, $250 now for a low top. We ain't even talking about the high top, man. If they would have made a high top, they would have probably charged us 300. But I get it, I get it. Inflation, all those other things, I understand, I understand. Now, when it comes to the design process of this new 2021 version, there is a whole new team, obviously, that worked on it. And with the collaboration with Virgil, they took this model to a whole new level, and we've probably never seen this done before. The Jordan team decided to take a 3D scan of the original Air Jordan 2 with Michael Jordan's autograph and recreated that version into this shoe that we have today. So I know a lot of sneakerheads, they talk about how they like to see sneakers recreated like the OG style, but as of right now, this could potentially be the closest version to original that we may have ever seen in the past 20 years. And one thing that made me extremely excited about this release when it comes to the two colorways, which I don't have the white pair yet, I plan to get those as soon as possible, but anyways, I have the original version. Stop it. I've kept these in my display case for many of years. I have been collecting sneakers for about 15 years now, and I actually picked these up a long time ago, probably about 14 years ago, like when I first started collecting. And the midsoles didn't look this bad when I first got these. And as you can see, over time, it's getting worse. So when I saw the opportunity to purchase these, I immediately wanted to go after them because I'm not saying I deserve to have this shoe or anything, but I already had the OG in my collection, so it made me just want these a little bit more. So now that you guys know a little bit about the history and my emotions, emotional attachment to this collaboration in particular. Let's go ahead and break down this shoe. Starting with the outsole, you have your classic Air Jordan 2 outsole, and they got the little cracked vibes right here on the Nike logo, as well right here on the other shoe, they got the little crack right here. So I like that little touch, giving you that OG vibe even on the outsole. Going up to the midsole, like I said earlier, this is giving you that OG vibe, the same recreation of the OG version that they made the 3D model of, so we get that already. You got your all black with your yellow vibes inside of there, and then on to the upper when it comes to the leather you have a really thick nice premium leather when it comes to this shoe and the overall just weight of this sneaker is actually really really heavy compared to your normal air jordan sneaker it almost gives you like a premium dress shoe type of vibe when it comes to the weight of the shoe looking at the back end of the shoe you have your black plastic right here on the bottom and your blue at the top slit open just a little bit right here where they have the deconstructed vibes around the top of the sock liner with the all black sock liner a white insole with the black jump man and a black off-white White logo as well you got your classic off-white hang tag right here this one comes in a yellow version these come laced with a pair of blue laces to match with the upper you have an additional pair of red kind of like 
It's, I won't even actually say these are red. It's kind of more of a faded type of muted type of red. And then you have a black pair of laces as well. So these come with three sets of laces, a hang tag, premium materials, a super dope box, a nice recreation on the midsole. I'm starting to understand why the price might just be a little bit higher than normal. Another super dope touch that they added to the sneaker as well is Michael Jordan's autograph right here on the side of the foot. And then you have your classic off-white branding on the inside of the foot as well with the beaver tin and everything like that. Going to the tongue of the foot, you have a premium black leather as well with a rubber Air Jordan Wings logo right here in blue and the same thing on the other tongue as well. So overall, as I look at this sneaker and I start to realize all the details and all the hard work that went into creating this shoe, it begins to make more and more sense why the retail price point was 250 bucks, especially saying that they didn't make, you know, millions of pairs of the shoe typically the lower the amount of production the higher cost and then when you add more things the cost gets a little bit higher so I completely understand why these retailed at 250 and I definitely understand why these things are worth 500 bucks and could potentially be worth a thousand dollars down the line which we'll get into in a second but first we need to see what everybody else thinks about the shoe because clearly you know I like the shoe but I want to see what everybody else thinks so if you haven't already make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel this is what the people said 52 percent of the people chose fire and 48 percent of the people chose trash a lot of people don't even have air jordan 2s in general in their collection and i completely understand that it's not a super hyped up shoe but i know coming into next year it's gonna force its way to being a talked about sneaker simply because of all the collaborations that we have coming with union and off-white and j balvin and ama minye and all those other brands i completely understand the tactic from jordan brand to create the hype for a new sneaker, a new retro, a new model, all those different things. And don't be surprised if you see the Air Jordan 2 hot on the scene with the collaborations this year coming up. And then the following year, 2023, we see a bunch of different retros of OG colorways or previous releases because everybody has those favorites, right? I wanna see the Chrome 2s release again. I wanna see the Mellow, I know the Mellow 2s released not that long ago, but I wanna see the Mellow 2s release again with the better material. Obviously, Chicago 2s, love to see those as well. OG white and red twos you can never have enough of those so for me there's definitely four or five colorways i would love to see retro again just because of the materials and the other ones falling apart on me from years ago so i'm definitely excited to seeing the air jordan 2 being brought back into the shoe game and back into people's rotations and seeing people rocking them more often and everything like that so let's talk about prices real quick when it comes to this sneaker in this colorway these are hitting for just over 400 bucks right now i think they're gonna linger around this price for a little bit and give it some time typical like all other off-white shoes next thing you know this sneaker is going to be worth 400 then it's going to go to 600 then it'd be 800 and people are going to be saying wow could this shoe actually be worth a thousand dollars i have a feeling that's what's going to happen in time maybe a year maybe two who knows but either way i don't see any reason why this sneaker wouldn't go up in value over time so if you're able to get this shoe now or wait for a little bit and get it for a little bit cheaper somewhere in the 300 range saying that the shoe was 250 retail i feel like that's still solid and respectable and then from there you're gonna be like damn bro i'm glad i got them for 350 because a year from now i guarantee you this shoe is not gonna be worth 350 or 400 bucks again and one last thing i feel like these shoes look solid on foot like i don't know about you but it's, it's pretty much an all black colorway. You can wear these with a lot of different outfits and I definitely see people pulling them off. And as people start to see people rocking them with different outfits and realizing how clean the shoe actually really is, they're gonna start to appreciate it a little bit more. So that's all I'm saying. I love the shoe. I'm excited about it. As you can see, I showed you guys my OG because I just been waiting for something like this and it's, it's now happening and it's super dope to see it and recreate it with the different midsole and everything and all the design process. So for me, again, yes, I'm happy. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I appreciate you guys as always. I'll see you in another one. All right, y'all, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ, I'm signing out. I got to go, I'm gone, peace. Yo, if you guys made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite sneaker pickup of 2021 has been. I would love to hear about it.